previously on Nightwing Escalation. Hello again, everybody. This is Jack Ryder Grace Perez. with the late breaking news on Gotham Tonight. Gotham City has suffered a tragedy terrible in Gotham loss today, today as the body of Detective Glenn Calloway, assuring everybody that everything was discovered that can be done about the scaffold killings is, is in fact Lingo. being done. Dr. Elizabeth Clemmer. But you can call me Liz. Jim, there's at least a dozen dead on you. Cut to ribbons. Never seen anything like The body of Dr. Clemper has gone missing. Don't carry the weight of his death on your shoulders. They don't help. No matter how many mob hits Giordano Thorne orders, no matter how many cops die by Ivy's lips, Thorne Ivy? They won't die. Go back to bed. I'm not gonna go back to bed. You have to tell me what happened. Don't lie to yourself, Strife. You've been doing it your whole life. Get out of here. Go back to bed. Go no, now. No, I'm not letting you do this to me again. What are you looking for? Gotham City crime to end? Someone on the inside. Someone I can trust. You can be doing so much else. Yeah. I've been hearing that my whole life. You don't need a slew of people to protect Gotham for you while you're gone. For the dark, brooding loner that you are, you know how to make the best partners, Bruce. You trust nobody. You trust nobody the way he trusts you. Who is first, so to speak? You're the most important. Because of the evidence amassed against Detective her, Jane Kulesa has been found guilty and, and will be incarcerated at Stonegate Penitentiary for life without parole. I'm looking for the same thing you are. Which is... <sighs> Only you can know that. You were never meant to be a sidekick for very long. Subtlety's not in your repertoire, is it? You know, a man who runs around dressed like a bat on the roofs of Gotham night after night. I'd love to get you on my couch. Sure you would. So, what can I do for you this time? Need more files on patients? Last time I checked, I was doing a wonderful job with Isley. Giorgio, Hagen, and the others. What's your plan with Isley? Another star patient? She's recovering extremely well. I see her daily in Arkham. The guilt she feels over Calloway and Thornhill is sizable. Is that why you're here? Maybe she's right. Maybe you do have a little light in your eyes for her. Better warn Catwoman. Two thugs who work for Jordan Thorne turned themselves in last night at the 38th Precinct, downtown. One blonde female, 20 years old, the other goes by the name Bruiser, 28. 
They said they were assaulted by one of Gotham's finest citizens. Someone who once made a career out of running thugs just like them. Harvey Dent. Harvey? No. O'Brien. Is he slipping? I think so. How did your last session go? He left early. <clears throat> Faden threw out the thorn case. What did he say? He was talking about having problems with Grace. But it was a big breakthrough. He, he's never opened up so much. And he had the scalpel case weighing heavily on him. Klemper found not guilty. What a joke. I heard her house caught fire a week ago. They say her body went missing. You don't think... I need a drink. of South America. The exhibit promises to host one of the most significant finds of the last century. Amongst them, the coveted cat's eye emerald, which is 203.4 carats. The emerald was found in the southern mountains of Chile, in a region of the country called Patagonia. Next up, it's Lisa. Lisa versus, versus a wrestler. Wrestler with Samantha's face hanging in the balance. Candace. Afternoon, Michelle. How brave of you to be walking around this neighborhood without your big bad boyfriend Nathan to flank you. How is he these days? I heard Black Canary landed him in the ER. Such a shame. Just give me the fucking spring. Manners. You're not gonna come up here talking to us like that and think that you're gonna get anything in return. Am I wrong? Nope. You show Sophia respect, Emlo. Didn't these slum rats in Kittress Park teach you anything? No? What about your mama? Oh right, she's not around anymore. Did you just wake up? I work nights. So, Holly, talk to me. It's Michelle. What happened? He did spring. Really? Come on, we're going right now. Um, excuse me. We're in the middle of something, sweetie. Michelle's a big girl, so why don't you be a good friend and let her finish her business here? I am being a good friend. We're done. Thank you. Get the fuck off of me, Chelsea. I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Michelle, hello. We're not done here. We're going to Dr. Chalk. I'm not going back to the street clinic. Do you understand? I'm fine on my own. I'm fine without you. What a girl, Michelle. Sorry about that. That's my girl showing respect. Ah, no. I think it's time to go, sugar bumps. I'm not impressed. You know, I had a friend named Holly, and she was actually a lot like you. And I was a lot like your sister. Do you have a sister? Yeah, but we don't talk much. That's a shame. You're a good person, Selena. Sometimes.
Hello, Strife. I'll put that away. We're on the same side. Playwood, I heard about you. Heard you'd be coming to Gotham. Not my plans, but here I am. Batman said you'd be the best to work with on this Eden Spring epidemic. So what do you know about it? As far as we know, the Eden Spring was developed by Nicholas Thornhill and Pamela Isaac. It gives you a sense of bliss for a short while and then it rapidly destroys your immune system and breaks down your liver lining, leading to overdose. It also acts as a strength enhancement similar to Venom or Titan. It empowers the individual and makes them lose sensations of pain. Like George Giorgio, Isley's former thug. Right. Well, that's why I'm here. But I need to know the extent of the spread in Gotham. It's all over Gotham. I believe the Scarecrow and the Riddler are behind a lot of the spread. No, not likely. They might have something to do with the supply, but... Someone much bigger must be pulling the strings. Thorn. A woman by the name of Sophia Chase is behind his day-to-day -day drug operations. An eccentric girl from Texas, a little crazy of course. She reports to Antoine Rotelli. He's the brains behind the mob. And how do you know that? I have my sources. Can I trust you? You trust him? The GCPD. This city? is suffocating with corruption. That adds to unsafe conditions and now you want me to run files for you and meet you on rooftops all over Gotham? Honestly, I'm not impressed with you or your boss. Not my fault. Could've fooled me. I have to get this Eden Spring analyzed. I'll be seeing you, Strife. Last sale of the day. Cristo, que pasa? Nada, nada, todos bien, pero... Necesito Eden Spring, por favor. That's what I'm talking about. Respect. More people need to learn that. Courtesy, politeness. Real red sunshine, this one. Gracias. De nada, senorita. De nada. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Can we go eat now? Can I help you? Or are you just checking my grading curve? I need you to answer some questions. So you broke into my apartment to ask them. Where were you tonight? Why? Claudio Vino was found at the bottom of the Gotham River two hours ago. One of these was buried in his heart. Well? I was here all night. Doing what? Grading papers. Your hair is wet. I took a shower, if that's all right. You think I did it. He was your cousin, a capo in the Thorn organization. He was tortured before he died. I didn't do it. You don't seem surprised. Well, frankly, I'm surprised Cousin Claudio didn't get his ticket punched sooner. The Thorns are the worst of the five families, and you know it. My mother is the only good person to ever come out of that particular gene pool. Did you kill him? Go to hell. Helena, I'm leaving Gotham on League business. But if I find out there's blood on your hands, I'll come back and take you down myself. Okay, Jaco. Bertolucci's a month late. You know how to handle this. Hey, Gnocchi. Don't muck this up this time. I don't care what Giordano promised you. When you ride with Candace and I, it's a different game.
my god, Echo. It's Candace. <gasps> Candace Thorne. <laughs> wow. You are totally betraying your brother, Tony. <laughs> Silly query. Antoine is adopted. Oh. He doesn't have a drop of thorn blood in him. Blood and not. I am a thorn. Which means I'm got them fucking royalty. Which is a lot more than I could say for you two bottom feeding trash bag whores. Cheating is cheating. Where's Giacca? Finalizing a deal. Oh, you mean with Signor Bertolucci? I think he's already finalized. You see, Miss Candace, the Riddler owns these streets now. So you can kiss Rotelli here and your control over Kittredge Park. Bye bye. I could have you dead in a second, you backwards minded cunt. Oh. Query, right? That's what you uh, call yourself. From where I'm from, we don't need to dress up to make a statement. We keep it simple and clear without the theatrics. Hello, Deidre. Well, if it isn't our gang's own Benedict Arnold, oh, please. Well, it sounds right. Don't do it. We all know. You'd miss me. You want to test me? For old time's sake? Ooh. This is getting exciting. The winds of change are blowing. Everything you know is about to change, psychopaths. You'll be put back at your place at the bottom of the totem pole. And the dawn familiar will be at the very top. When that happens, you'll be wondering how you live so well and proud, leaving so little for those who paved the way. And you'll be begging for a chance back in the spotlight. Rotelli. Very inspiring. I wonder though, will Don Giordano be alive to see that? Why so quiet, Miss Candace? Bertolucci is one man. Tell that basket case enigma if he wants Kittredge Park, he can ask the landlord for the asking price. We tolerate you here. That tolerance is growing thin now. Now, run along, manservants, back to your master. And vice versa. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Jim, I got the Eden Spring. Well done, Detective. Um, Nigma's right hand women were in there. They got in the mob's face. I think it might be a hot zone soon. More like a kill zone if we don't handle it. Without Batman, it's gonna be tough. Only other cape in this area is Catwoman, and she's no hero. A young girl went in there, bought some spring. Should I? Negative. Get back here. We need to analyze that stat. But. Yeah, I'm sorry. But that's an order, Detective. Gordon out. Check in the last couple of nights. He's thinking she's seeing some cop on the side. Wants me to put a stop to it. 
she is seeing said cop. Two more capos from the Falcone and the Thorne families died this week. One washed up a few miles from here. Right along the Gotham Sound. That makes five. This Huntress character. She could be targeting you next. Just wanted you to stay up on the news while you're babysitting mob boss's daughters. Nelson. Shape up. You're not the only one putting themselves at risk. I may be going to Gotham tonight. But there's something of a war going on across the Atlantic. <laughs> That's probably why the Cape Crusader skipped town. I hope you realize this is uh, Gotham we're talking about. This is probably the most dangerous city in America. What do you get to do when you're done here? You get to go back to your hotel room, a nice bed. And next morning, you get the first flight out to Metropolis. You don't know what this is like. I'm sorry for your problems, Nelson. We can't help you if you don't help us. I don't even know who the fuck you are anymore. How dare you? I don't give a shit. You know I care. That can't help us right now. Rotelli and Candace are having an affair. They've been having meetings with Falcones, Galantes, Moronis, even Cobblepod and Scarface. And the cover is they're dealing with this hunter's problem. But, um, something's not right. Maybe. We'll keep watching Huntress. Just be careful. That's good. So, uh, be careful. You, you just have to know it's not easy to get away these days. Giordano is paranoid about everything. And you know, why not? Uh, this fucking city. That was your soul. I still have faith. I was wondering when you'd come and talk to me, boss. I had to follow up on some cases. I know you've been pursuing Klemper for weeks. When her house burned down, she went missing. I found her and turned her over to Gordon's unit. You're not here to talk to me about Klemper. When were you gonna tell me you were leaving? You know, you could have told me yourself. You didn't have to send Alfred. Time 
is not my friend. So that it's pretty serious. It's dark side. So you want me to take over Gotham? If I do, it's on my terms. I'm not putting on that cape and cowl again. Oh, and by the way, thanks for sharing some of your tech with me. Black's definitely your color. Got tired of the blue and gray? You've got Gotham. Your terms. Whatever happened to Gotham needs Batman? She does. But sometimes, so does the world. Coordinate with Oracle. You'll have aid from the Birds of Prey. She'll give you the case files I have on Dent and Klimper's recent activities. I'll need you to follow up on them. Well, I hope she stays in jail this time. Dent's replacement, Janet Van Dorn, will be sure of that. I have a hunch. Klimper's not in this alone. You'll have your work cut out for you. Well, the Joker's still locked up. For now. By the way... Clean shaven. Nice. Before it was a little too much green arrow. Not enough Nightwing. Was, was that just a bat joke? <laughs> Can I get the keys to the uh, Batwing? I saw it flying around the other night. Good model, right? Not a scratch. Hey, Batman. Thanks. If you're still believing in me. I never stopped. Getting helpers.